Are we finally seeing a cool down in home prices? October was an intriguing month for the housing market, marked by notable changes and shift in both inventory and prices. So what's the latest in the Locker Center housing market? Let's dive right in. Welcome back everyone, I'm James Hugh with Think Real Estate, your local realtor here in La Crescenta. Let's begin by looking at the home prices. In October, the average sale price was $1,290,000, marking a 13% drop from the peak we saw back in July and a 5% drop compared to September. However, when we consider the bigger picture year over year, home prices have still risen by a solid 11%. One data point that really caught my attention was the days on market. Last month, this figure jumped to 42 days, meaning it took an average of 42 days for a home to sell. This is a noticeable increase when we consider that we've been accustomed to numbers in the teens in recent months. So why the cool down in prices and longer days on the market? Well, it's a combination of seasonality, economic conditions, and mortgage rates reaching 8%, the highest level we've seen in over 20 years. These effects are evident in the mortgage purchase application, which represents the number of people applying for home loans currently being at their lowest level in nearly 30 years. Additionally, while we only had 10 closed sales in October, a couple of homes took more than 120 days to sell, which skewed the days on market figure. Still, 42 days on the market is quite significant. Now, let's talk about the inventory side of things. Throughout this year, we have witnessed record lows in terms of new listings entering the market every month. However, October brought some good news for the buyers out there. We saw 21 new listings hitting the market, a number more in line with what we typically see in a normal market. Normally, we expect a decline in new listings as we move into the fourth quarter, but the start of this fall has shown a different pattern. This is a glimmer of hope for buyers as it means more options and less competition. For sellers, here's some valuable advice in this market. Price your home fairly. I'm noticing a lot more price drops happening throughout other parts of LA, and sellers who set unrealistically high prices are finding their homes lingering on the market. Homes that are competitively priced or even below market value are the ones receiving the best results and multiple offers. Alternatively, if you can wait until after the holidays to sell, consider listing in January when conditions may be more favorable, with more buyers entering the market after the new year. As for buyers out there, with more more inventory hitting the market and a slowdown due to seasonality, the fourth quarter might be the perfect time to find some great deals. Looking ahead, it's evident that higher rates are here to stay. The recent Fed meeting hinted that interest rates might remain higher than expected into 2024 and maybe 2025. So what does this mean for you? If you're waiting for housing costs to cool down to make a move, it might be a while. With all that said, if you're a homeowner in La Crescenta and you're curious about how your home's value has changed in this market, click on the home value link below for the most up-to-date home valuation. And if you have any questions about the market or considering making a move, reach out anytime. I'm happy to help. Time is up, we chase it. She's alone, let's face it. There's days where she don't know which way to turn. Crowd is 